Let's go. 107.3 KFFM. It's another Jubal phone tap. Hello? Hello. Hello? I was, hello. I was looking for Melody. This is she. Hi, Melody. My name is Tad Sampson, and I'm the manager over at the International House of Pancakes. You're calling from IHOP? Yes, I'm the manager at the IHOP that you frequent. Okay. Um, did I leave something there? No, actually, I'm calling to ask you never to come back into our store again. I'm sorry, I don't think I heard you correctly. I'm calling to ask you to not come back into our establishment. We thank you for your business, but it's come to the point where we have to say no thanks. You're banning me from your restaurant? What did I do? Well, I'm actually not sure where I should start. I've been running this restaurant for 20 years, and I have never seen anything like what you've been able to do. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about your syrup consumption, ma'am. What? Listen, we've been tracking you for a while now. And I don't know you what know, you're doing with the syrup, but every single time you come in, you run us dry. I don't know if you're putting it in your purse. Are you stealing the syrup? No, I'm not putting it in my purse, and I'm extremely offended by this phone call. If you're not putting it in your purse, then are you drinking it? Because I want to let you know syrup is not a beverage. I it's, don't drink syrup. Well, if you don't, then where is it going? I have no idea where your syrup is going. Neither I do we. I have no idea. Neither do we. You're the manager. All I not know me. is, all I know is, every single time you come into our restaurant, syrup consumption goes way up. Every single time you're in here, we have to restock. You're being highly offensive, sir. I can tell that you're upset, and I, I'm guessing it's probably because you're on a sugar high or a sugar low right now, or you're needing to get a fix somewhere. But you're sounding you're, very upset. You're not calling me a sh- some kind of sugar junkie. I'm not a sugar junkie. I'm not calling you a sugar junkie necessarily, but I'm saying... Yes, you are. I'm saying... This is so offensive. I know this is going to be very hard for you to admit, but it's obvious to everybody that you have a severe problem with syrup. I have no problem with syrup. None at all. What are you, some kind of doctor? No, you're an IHOP manager. You will give me as much syrup as I ask for. Ma'am, there are plenty of other places that you can go to get pancakes. Places that might not even care how much syrup you're using. I mean, you can drink all of the stuff at the other places. No, they might not I come even... into your restaurant every week because I love your pancakes. And I use the right amount of syrup every time. And you're an asshole for treating one of your best customers this way. Ma'am, I don't know what else to tell you, but you are banned from the restaurant. No, I'm not banned from your restaurant. You can't ban me. And I'll do whatever I want. I'll put a fur bottle down my throat. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're going to sit there and watch me. And you're going to love it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because this is a prank phone call. No, it's not. Stop laughing. No, it really is. This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. What? Yeah, your ex-husband Frank set you up. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> he, he told me that you always go to IHOP and that you'd freak oh out if I told you. God. He said... He said you'd freak out if I told you you couldn't go there anymore. Man, he was he was right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I do kind of want to see you do that gallon of syrup thing, though. I'm so embarrassed. I yelled at you like that. <laughs> no, don't be. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. That was crazy. Jubal phone taps. Catch him every weekday at 720 and 920 with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 107.3 KFFM.